Okay, so today we're going to be talking. This has been sent to me on Instagram, on my Discord. Join my Discord yet if you haven't. Uh, it's been sent to me by friends of mine, by family members. Everyone has sent me this, uh, talking about this story. And so um, a lot of you guys probably know who Lizzo is. If you don't know, uh, Google her, I guess. <laughs> but um, she is a very popular uh, singer, dancer, artist. She's, she's very talented, right? Um, and for a long time... Uh, she's been very much so a uh, champion of like kind of the body positivity movement, which I think is great. Like she's she's great. I like her a lot. She's very funny. I love watching her stuff. Now, there has been a there has been a, a, a people are having a problem with Lizzo because of a story that she put up on her Instagram um, yesterday as of, as I'm recording this. So. The uh, the story that she put up was about like this cleanse that she went on. It was like a juice smoothie cleanse. Um, so we're gonna go over the video and uh, we'll kind of just like talk about it and see see what people have to say. Um, so I'm gonna turn uh, the music that she's using is probably copyright, so you won't be able to hear it, but you guys will get the gist of, of what what's going on here. So it's this what I eat in a day um, video, and then she tags this person JJ Smith online, which we'll go into who that is. Okay, so so let's do it. Play. What I eat in a day on JJ Smith's 10-day uh, smoothie detox. Disclaimer, I was practicing safe detox methods with the nutritionist. Do not try without research. Okay. So she's going through a day of eating. Okay, so this is a green smoothie. That, oh, dude, I've already talked about it. Green smoothies, uh, no thank you. Nope, no thank you. A detox supplement. Okay. <laughs> beauty water okay <laughs> beauty water alrighty well sounds interesting a superfood shake now alkaline water now another Okay, remember, this is a full day of eating. So, so far, she's had a green smoothie. Um, she's had one shake, another green smoothie, and then a ton of water. Okay. Now she actually has food. So, apples and peanut butter, which I enjoy. Okay, so this is a no-cal bar. This is a vegan protein bar. Now, there are tons of very good vegan protein bars, but you guys... No cow bars. I'm sorry if you like them. They're so bad. They're so bad. They're so chalky. Like it is when people talk about, oh, vegan protein bars aren't good. That's what they're talking about because no cow bars are so, so gross. They're so chalky. Uh, if, if you guys like them, hey, you can like them, but they're, ooh, I am not a fan. Okay. And more water. Okay. So this, soaking in herbs. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. So tea now. Another smoothie. Cucumbers in apple cider vinegar. Okay, so the only food she's eaten today, okay, so far, is the apples and peanut butter, and then... Apple, cucumbers, and apple cider vinegar. Okay, remember, this is happening for 10 days, so so claimed, okay? So this, she's claiming that she did this, this for 10 days, all right? Okay, nuts, that's good. Some fat in there. More, <laughs> more beauty water, okay. Oh, dude, the freaking foot pads, you guys. <sighs> okay. And more supplements. All right, so let's turn, we're gonna turn the volume back up because she starts talking now. And I ate a lot of foods and fucked my stomach up in Mexico. So I decided to do JJ Smith's 10 day smoothie cleanse. So her claim was that um, during, I think, uh, during October last month, she uh, she went to Mexico and ate a bunch of spicy food and ate really terribly and she messed her stomach up. So that's why she is doing this. Um, that's why she is doing this 
uh, this detox. This is day one right here. Moving on to day two, it's just basically you drink these green smoothies every day. Um, so this this is where a lot of people had an issue was the fact that she like did these before and after things. Okay. So like this was, this was a contention for a lot of people was that she was like showing how her body looked before and after. Now you guys know me. I personally think before and afters are fine. I don't have a problem with them, but a lot of people in the body positivity and health at every size claim that they are toxic and claim that they are fat phobic. So a lot of people, a lot of people, we're not happy about this. um right here was the hardest day four five and six i was like Ugh. started to get to me mentally but i was never super hungry i just yeah. I, th I i don't understand when like these when these when people that do these cleanses they claim like i was never super hungry and i'm just like dude come on like you can like, if you're going to sell something that I, I personally think is a waste of money, why are you lying about, like, yes, you were hungry. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, you're eating, you ate, uh, the only food you actually ate was apples and peanut butter, some nuts, and then a no-cow bar, right? Um, and that's the only food you ate, and you're telling me you weren't hungry at all. For 10 days of doing that while drinking some smoothies and some uh, green drink, ugh, and that green drink stuff, ooh, no, no, thank you. I think I just was wanting to stress eat and, and do things that were like kind of self-harming. And here I am on day nine. Um, and then uh, Avocado Nope in the chat says, if that's true, it's that's bad timing. She just posted multiple videos on TikTok crying, TikTok crying about um, disliking how she looks naked, which I mean, that's fine. You can feel that way. But yeah, I agree. That's definitely not the uh, not the. <laughs> The, the the optics of that do not look very good. Mm -hmm. And this is the final day. I'm going to give you a full twirl. I feel amazing. Um, and I think that it's just right. It's great to like reset your stomach. and. It's great to reset your stomach. You guys. I promise you that you do not need to do detoxes to reset your stomach. Okay? It's not... That's not how your body works. Like these things, a lot of times they'll make you poop a lot and they'll make you like if you're a bloated person and you're eating crap, if you are doing these detoxes, right? A lot of them are not much food. A lot of them are not going to, they're not going to have that much sodium. So you are not going to be as bloated. That is a normal thing from not eating as much and drinking a lot of water. Okay. Like, oh man, you <laughs> resetting your stomach doesn't. It doesn't work like that, okay? Yeah, and then Zach in the in the chat said um, a lot of the effects are placebo as well. A hundred percent. That's a lot of things. That's with a lot of things in, in weight loss and fitness. Like placebo is huge. If you don't know what placebo is, it's basically because you think something is working, you will believe that it's working. Like you will be like, oh, I see results because I think this thing is working. Reset things, especially when you deal with like gastrointestinal issues, like I do. But I think I look fucking great too. So, period. So, I okay. So that was the that was the original video. Okay, and uh, so a lot of people had an issue with that, and I think that not just because of the fact, like, oh, um, what are you talking about? It doesn't reset your stomach, but the fact that. A lot of people have had have had issue with people having an issue with it too. Okay, so this is like twofold. But so people have have been saying, um, oh, I I think it's like they're like, oh, why are you doing this? This is like, uh, uh, this is diet culture. This is bad. But then there's other people that are saying like, well, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like that she's positive about being her size, but now she's trying to lose weight and now they have a problem with that. Okay, so there's there's it's twofold here. I think that. People having a problem with the way that she is losing weight, or I mean, she doesn't even talk about losing weight, but the way that she's going on this detox to probably lose weight, right? Versus that's what matters. So it's because with this weight loss or whatever you want to call it, detox, it's just one, it's it's complete BS. Like it's complete BS. And like it's promoting something that one, it's very obvious that she was sponsored to do this, which there's nothing wrong with that. Like, hey, if you if you have a sponsor, do your thing. But it's like 
when you have such a large following of people that are obviously like in the same position as you and then you promote something that is genuinely dangerous like you have to put a disclaimer that says like talk to your doctor basically before doing this like come on man it's just it's really it's really frustrating because now I guarantee the fact that I am making this video, people are gonna be like, you're a fat shamer, or you're fat phobic, or you're this, you're that. And it's like, no, dude, like, I think that if she is comfortable with where she is, that's great. Like, you know what the kids say, no cap. Like, do your thing. I'm not mad about that. Like, I am, do your thing, 100%. But then if you're going to be like, oh, but I wanna do this detox, like, let's be real, and be like, no, you're not doing this detox because it's going to fix all of these problems. Like, this detox, you're doing it because you're making money off of it and you're posting it, right? If you looked at all the stories, she was getting, uh, she was tagging the person, 100% she got paid to do that, which is fine, but it's it's setting, this is the biggest thing, it's setting false expectations for the, the other consumers, for the, the followers that you have, that look up to you, that look up to you as someone that they, they believe is like a beacon of light, that they believe is, is someone that really has their best interests at heart, and you are, you are using that trust to sell a fake BS snake oil supplement, okay? That's the issue. Not because Lizzo wants to lose weight. If Lizzo wants to lose weight, that's fine. If Lizzo wants to stay, um, if Lizzo wants to stay her weight, that's fine. I, I literally don't care. She's talented, sings her heart out. I, I love her music. She's great at what she does, okay? That's not my issue. My issue is not any of those things, okay? It's the fact that she is using her influence to talk to these people that look up to her and, and is selling something that isn't working, okay? Okay, so I just wanted to get that off my chest. So let's go in. And then she goes in um, here. It kind of explains her reasoning. Um, and I kind of want to go over that as well. So this is like a few hours afterwards. There was quite a bit of backlash. And she goes on to explain her reasoning as to why she posted it. Okay. I did the 10-day smoothie detox. And as you know, I would normally be so afraid and ashamed to post things like this online. Because I feel like as a big girl, people just expect if you are doing something for health, you're doing it for like a dramatic weight loss. And that is not the case. Now, there's nothing wrong with um, wanting to, there's nothing wrong with wanting to work on your health, but the, 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 the fact for a lot of people that are Lizzo size, I'm not going to say for her specifically because she is, um, she's very agile. She, if you watch her live show, she like moves around, like she, she's, you know, she, she can, she can work, you know, but a lot of people that are her size, if they start focusing on their health, the fact of the matter is, is like weight loss will happen, right? And now I'm not saying that it's a good thing or a bad thing, but that just is a fact of the matter. Okay, um, and so it's interesting that she's like afraid to talk about wanting to lose weight. I think it's crazy, man. Like, if someone wants to lose weight, why is it? Why? Why do you have to be afraid of it? I think the reason that she was scared of it was because she knew, because she's smart, that people were gonna see right through it. And be like, no, dude. Like, I don't have a problem with you wanting to lose weight. It's the fact that you are pushing a BS snake oil thing to your followers, right? That's my problem with it. I could care less if you want to lose weight. I mean, more power too. If you don't want to lose weight, more power too. Do your thing. But like, it's that people are gonna see through that and be like, man, what the heck is this thing? Like, that's probably where what she was really thinking at least that's my opinion um in reality november stressed me the fuck out i drank a lot i ate a lot of spicy things and things that fucked my stomach up and i wanted to reverse it and get back. okay so she says she wanted to reverse it okay i want to make it very clear you you it doesn't your body doesn't work like that okay you don't put something in and then you eat something else to reverse the effects of it it just doesn't work like that like okay you you drank more than you normally wanted to and you're eating spicy foods Okay, and you're eating like garbage foods and apparently it's probably what she's talking about here. Okay, the way that you reverse that is by stopping doing that. Okay, and I said reverse in quotes. The way that you make that not a problem is you stop doing that and then continue eating uh, correctly or a way that you want to eat. Not by drinking beauty water and hoping that it's going to make you poop your brains out and then you'll feel better. Like it... it <laughs> Your body doesn't work like that. Like we have things in our body that regulate all of those things without us having to do detoxes, right? Our body is smart, smarter than whatever detox tea or supplements that you are taking. I, I promise you, okay? Your body is smart. Back to where I was, I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of my results. Um, my sleep has improved, my hydration, my inner peace, my mental stability, my fucking body, my So this is what's frustrating to me is that 
so these these things all might be true okay like these like her her mental stability all those things might be true but then it's it makes it seem like she is putting and i'm not sure if she's doing this but the way that this video is 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 made is it, it makes it seem like she is putting all of those um new like uh, oh I'm, I'm feeling better in this aspect in this aspect in this aspect it feels like she's putting it all on this t which is frustrating because one like if you really did do the 10 days of a detox like that was your own mental stability that was your own mental fortitude that got you through that okay so that's on you that's not on the tea that's not on the supplement that's on you like you worked for that okay but the second thing is like it's just frustrating because again like this is when you can tell that something is normally if something sound if something sounds too good to be true it probably is okay and that's that's my issue with this um with this tea with this detox with these things it's like dude no supplement that you take is going to make your uh mental stability better it's going to make you lose weight it's going to make you all all of these things like no that is because you worked for that thing right like that's what happened i don't know man it's it's just so frustrating and like that's the problem i have it's not because lizzo wants to lose weight i don't care it's not because she doesn't want to lose weight i freaking don't care it's the fact that you say that you are 100 percent happy with your body you say that you love yourself but then you go on this freaking detox that is literally like causing genuine harm probably to your body if you actually did it I'm, i don't want to call her a liar but you know like and then selling it to other people that do not need it Okay, like that's the problem that I have. Fucking skin, the whites of my eyes, like I feel and look like a bad bitch. And I think like, that's it. I'm a big girl who did a smoothie detox. And I wanted to share that with you guys. I got exactly what I wanted out of it. And every big girl should do whatever the fuck they want with their bodies. <sighs> okay, so it's not that every big girl should just do whatever they want with their body. It's every... <laughs> Every person should do what they want with their body. But again, you are you are promoting something that is dangerous. And that's the problem, right? And even if it's not dangerous, maybe I'm being bombastic or being a little bit ridiculous. But you are selling false hope, okay? And that is, that's the issue, you know? Like, you are selling false hope to people that trust you. And, like, if you don't have a problem with that, like, that's really messed up, man. Like... That's really, really messed up, man. Um, so I kind of wanted to go and uh, look at the... I want to look at the page that she brings up. Um, and so, real quick, Rachel or someone, can you send me the link um, to that page? So this is the Instagram that she was tagging. JJ Smith Online, okay? So it says, fast weight loss. You guys. <laughs> she said that she wasn't trying to lose weight. The, the top of this person's Instagram, who she tagged, who it's their detox, fast weight loss. The first thing I always say, if someone is, is promoting fast weight loss, run away. Run away, okay? Because that 100% is a scam. I promise you. Like this, there's not many things I'm 100% on, but your boy is 10 for 10 on this, okay? 100% shooting ratio average. I don't know what that means. I don't watch sports, but I am, I've, I've haven't been wrong yet. If someone is promoting fast weight loss, they're trying to make money off of you. They don't really care about your health. Okay. I'm telling you right now, especially if they're selling lose body fat and slim waistline liver focus, number one liver detox. Okay. Like I'm telling you right now that this person does not have your best interest at heart. Okay, it's not too late to join us. My new seven-day apple cider vinegar, oh God, um, ACV cleanse is fire. Uh, the results are so amazing. The 10-day green smoothie cleanse is still the most popular detox for fast, healthy weight loss. So join the movement and do them both for maximum results. So now there's two cleanses. Um, add in liver focus and blood sugar focus for even greater results. Holy smoke, how many focuses are there? All you need to do is get the books, which have all the instructions, recipes, and shopping lists, and are available on Amazon, Walmart, Target, BJ's, Kroger's, and Barnes and & Noble. <sighs> and so, like, this is the problem, okay? Like, this is the issue, is that you say that you're not trying to lose weight, but if someone literally does a second of research, okay, 
like a second of research, you can see who you tagged yourself. And I'm not even mad at Lizzo, man. Like, she's great. I'm not even mad at her. Like, do her thing. But, like, if you do one second of research, you go to this person's thing, and they're, the, the, the top of their page says fast weight loss with J.J. Smith. It literally says that. And, I mean, the icing on the cake is that she has pictures with Dr. Oz. Like, this person is Dr. Oz. <laughs> there are not many people that more people think is a charlatan. <laughs> And the snake oil salesman like Dr. Oz. Like, if someone has a picture with Dr. Oz, don't trust them, okay? If I ever take a picture with Dr. Oz, stop trusting me, all right? <laughs> because I sold out. It's never going to happen. So, like, oh, that's what the issue is. And I think that when people, uh, when people, it's, it's frustrating when people are like, oh, well, you said she couldn't be big, but now she can't lose weight. It's like, no, 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 no. I don't have a problem with either of those things. I have a problem with if you are saying that you're happy being the size that you are, but then you promote a weight loss detox. And I say that because it literally says that right here. Remember, weight loss, fast weight loss with JJ Smith. It's right there. And then you promote this, which is unhealthy, which is unnecessary. And you're promoting it to people that trust you. That's, that's where my problem is. I don't care that you want to lose weight. I don't care that you don't want to lose weight. The issue is the way that it's promoted and the way that you made it seem like, oh, this is totally normal. Like this is not normal. This is not normal. So that that's like, that's, um, you know, the whole issue with Lizzo right now. I would love to hear what people have to say um, down in the comments. But yeah, those, those are my thoughts at least.